Special Agents, Commander G, back again with some more maths reasoning practice. These are all to do with fabulous fraction questions to help you because you've been learning this week in arithmetic to find fractions of numbers. Okay, so in the reasoning paper, we have to read maths questions which cover all areas of maths we've learned about in year two. Each paper has children's names in them, so you are introduced to these words first using pictures like this. So the little girl is called Amy, the little boy is called AJ, and you might also see Sam, Ben, Sita and Kemi, and if you do, they're not maths words, they are people's names. The first few questions a grown-up will read to you. Let's have a go at some now. Here are some tens and ones. Can you circle the right number of tens and the right number of ones to make the number 63? How many tens and ones do I need to use to make the number 63? Let's break that down. Let's think about the 60. That is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. I need to put a circle around six tens and I need three ones. One, two, three. So I've got six tens and I need to circle three ones and I will have made 63. And the grown-up will read you that question, okay. Now, number five has got the number 20 and the number 30. And it wants you to write all the odd numbers between 20 and 30. Ooh, can you remember what an odd number is? One, three, five, seven, nine, odd numbers make me feel fine. One, three, five, seven, nine, odd numbers make me feel fine. And, and, and whether a number is odd or even, you look at the units. So any number that ends in a one, a three, a five, a seven, or a nine is odd. We're starting at 20, we're finishing at 30. So here are the odd numbers, 21, 23, 25, 27, and 29. And you would have to write all of those to get the mark. Okay, what is the value of 20, add two, add two? What is the value of 20, add two, add two? So I want you to add the numbers together. Now in our arithmetic paper, we are taught to look for doubles or number bonds to 10 when adding three numbers. Two add two is four. Write that down so you don't forget. Now you, all you need to do is 20 add four. And the four can pop the zero. Pop goes the zero. 20 add four is 24. Well done guys, okay. Now, here is a circle that has been split up. What fraction is shaded grey? What fraction is shaded grey? One half, one quarter, one third, or three quarters. Okay, now you may not remember the work we've done on fractions and this is the point of this video. A fraction, when it's written down, the bottom number tell you how many white and grey pieces there are all together. So we've got one, two, three pieces all together. And the top number, the numerator, tells us how many parts of the shape are coloured in. So we've got one grey part and one out of three parts is coloured in. So that is a third. So one third of that circle has been coloured in. Now the questions that we're going to look at today are all about fractions. Okay. A few After a few types of the questions where the grown-up asks you, you, you might be asked to read the rest of the sentences on your own. I can read some words to you in the task, but the words that are in bold, that are dark, you will need to try and read yourself. As always, with any special agent task, I want you to have a go at reading everything yourself. Okay, so bold just means where the writing looks different. Okay, questions about fractions. Number one, tick the shape which has more than half blue. Tick the shape that has got more than half of it coloured in. More than half. Think about what that means. Look at each shape carefully. Have you noticed it says tick the shape? Not shapes, so there's only one where more than half has been coloured in. Think you've got it? There is. That's got a lot more than half coloured in, hasn't it? Well done if you found that one. Fantastic. Number two. One shape is less than half blue. Tick it. So this is the opposite to more than. There's one shape that's got less than half that has not been cut quite into half. Okay, think you've spotted it? There it is. Well done. Fantastic work so far. 
Number six, shade the fractions of the shapes. Now shade means colour in. Here's a top tip. Read, read each fraction carefully. So the top one says shade one half. Now I can see that it's been split into one, two, three, four pieces, but it doesn't ask you to shade in one quarter. So we need to colour in half of that diamond shape and half is split down the middle. Okay, let's read the next fraction. Shade three quarters. So it's been split into one, two, three, four parts and we need to colour in three pieces of that shape, three quarters. So we need to colour in three parts of that shape. The bottom fraction says shade one third. So the shape has been split into three, that's where the three comes from in the fraction and the top number is one, we just have to colour one section of that shape to colour one third. And you need to have coloured in every shape to get the tick for that question. Well done. Number five, look at these fractions. A half, a third, two quarters and three quarters. Now, in the special agent task, it doesn't show you a picture to help you with these, but this is Commander G. I'm going to give you some more help. I'm here to train you. So that's what a half looks like. That's what a third looks like. That's what two quarters look like. And that's what three quarters look like. And it says, circle the two fractions that are equal. Now you know that equal means the same. Circle the two fractions that are equal. And in our fraction song we say uh, a quarter is four equal parts and two quarters is the same as a half. A quarter is four equal parts and two quarters are the same as a half. And if you look at a half and a quarter, the same amount of the circle has been coloured in. And a half and two quarters are the same size. Okay, so well done if you knew that without me showing you the shapes. And it doesn't matter if you needed my help. That's what I'm here for, guys. Well done. Okay, number eight. Sita cuts the pizza into four equal slices. So she's cut the pizza into quarters. She eats one slice. What fraction of the pizza does she eat? And then we've got the blue box where we need to write the fraction. Now the biggest number of a fraction, the bottom number, the denominator, is how many pieces of pizza there are all together. Sita cuts the pizza into four parts. So the bottom number is going to be a four. She has cut that pizza into quarters. Now she eats one piece. So how many pieces did she eat? That's a one. We put that at the top of the fraction and she has eaten one quarter of the pizza. Okay, well done. Number nine, tick the shape that has exactly one third shaded. Now the fraction one third means one out of three pieces is coloured in. And in this case, it's coloured in blue. Can you see the rectangle that has one out of three parts coloured in blue equally, or one third? Remember what you know about equal. Fractions are split into equal sizes. Have you found, found the shape? There you go. And it can't be the top box because that's been split into one, two, three, four parts. It can't be the bottom box because that's been split into one, two, three, four equal parts. If we look at the rectangle underneath the right answer, it has been split into three pieces, but they're not equal. Did you spot that one? Well done if you did. Okay. Number 11. A shop has 12 bags of crisps and there they've got the bags of crisps for you. It sells one quarter of the bags. How many bags of crisps did the shop sell? So a fraction sign can mean the divide sign. So if we wanted to work out a quarter of 12, we need to work out 12 divided by 4. We need to use grouping to help us divide here and we need to divide into four equal groups. So if I look down, I can get one group, two groups, three groups, four equal groups. So I've divided by grouping into four equal groups. How many bags are in one group to find one quarter of the crisps? One, two, three. 
that's right and 12 divided by 4 or 12 grouped into groups of 4 or 1 quarter of 12 is 3 well done fantastic Number seven, circle one third of the apples below. Now this is a really hard question type and it's really hard to describe here to explain what to do. So this isn't asking you to put them into groups of three. It's asking you to split them into three equal groups. So I'm going to draw a line and go across, see if I can get three groups. So I've got a top group, a middle group and a bottom group. Then I'm going to check how many apples are in each group to see if they are equal. One, two, three, four, five apples in the top group. One, two, three, four, five apples in the bottom group. One, two, three, four, five apples in the bottom group. Okay, so that's equal. So if I circle one of the groups of five, that's one third, I will get the mark for that. Okay, here is a set of 12 pencils. How many is half the set? Now we've learned in arithmetic that 12 divided by two is the same as half. So if you know what half of 12 is, you will know the answer without having to draw anything. How do we do 12 divided by two? Let's start with no fingers up and counting twos. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. Half of 12 is six. Now, for me, knowing half of 12, knowing I can divide by 2 is easier than trying to find a line and draw a line to make equal sets. So half of 12 is 6. Well done. Okay, leave me a like if you're tuning in next time. Don't tell anybody you've these top tips. Bye for now.